Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear, and I'm here in our store in Smyrna, Georgia. And this is the Zero Tolerance 0450 CFZDP. All right, here we are with the Zero Tolerance 0450 CFZDP. So this is a special limited run of the 0450 CF designed by Dmitry Sinkovich, but with ZDP 189 steel as well as some other small changes. I was really excited when they announced this knife because the 0450 CF has been in my pocket or been one of the knives in my pocket since it came out. And I love the thing. It's so small. It's so light. The action on it's fantastic. So a knife like that with ZDP 189, which is just a crazy, crazy steel made by Hitachi. Uh, I was really excited about that. So when it came in, my expectations were absolutely met, maybe even exceeded. They put some nice little touches like you got the blue backspacers on there. And then the two-tone steel that they have on there, the two-tone finish that they have on the blade, they just did a great, great job on this. Basic specs of the knife, you've got the KVT ball bearing system. It is a flipper. You've got the uh, ZDP 189 steel, titanium frame lock, hardened steel lock bar insert, carbon fiber on the other side. You've got a 3.25 inch blade. You've got a closed length of 4.1 inches. Overall is 7.4 inches. And the original 450 CF was 2.7 ounces, and I'm assuming that this is going to be the same. I don't think the steels really weigh any significantly differently. So those are the basic specs of the knife. So this might possibly be replacing my 0450 CF. Uh, it will definitely be in the rotation, though, for sure. But you can see you've got the two-tone blade on there. So you've got a satin finish up here and then more of a polished machine look on the blade and then on the top as well. You still got the carbon fiber. You got titanium on the other side. You've got the lock bar insert. If you're not familiar with what that does, what it does is titanium is a relatively soft metal. This uh, steel, especially this steel, you know, any of the steels that zero tolerance use are going to do this, but especially ZDP 189 can get very, very hard. Uh, so if you're like me, you're like most people, you flip your knives a lot. Even when you don't really need to, you pull it out and just kind of play with it. And the wearing of the titanium on the steel can wear down that titanium. So they actually put an insert in there of stainless steel. So it's steel against steel and it wears much better. And if you do happen to ever get to the point where uh, you wear it down, you flipped it 10,000 times or something like that, then you can just replace that part instead of having to, having to replace the entire lock side, which is obviously more difficult and more expensive. Uh, you've also got some different hardware on here. So you've got the pivot and then some screws there on the back. Instead of being the blacked out look, you've got that satin stainless steel look on them. And then you can see those blue versus the green. Same clip on there, but you've got the satin versus the black coated on the 450 CF. And then you can see they pretty much swapped out all the hardware for satin versus the black coated. Other than that, they are very, very similar knives, uh, other than the steel. The steel is definitely what sets this knife apart. If you've never had a knife with ZDP 189, it's relatively new. Uh, maybe came out 10 years or so ago, uh, maybe before that, but I first started seeing knives with it about 10 years ago, and people didn't really know what to do with it. Uh, some companies kind of figured out how to use it properly and how to heat treat it properly, and people were blown away with its performance. I've actually read some knife reviews where guys would do knife reviews after they have sharpened it for the first time, and they were kind of like, it hasn't gotten to the point where I've needed to sharpen it, so I need to go ahead and do the review. And that's how well it holds an edge. So the edge retention on ZDP 189 is just fantastic. And again, really good corrosion resistance. If you're somebody like me that has kind of sweaty, just natural state, <laughs> my natural state is kind of being sweaty, um, it's a great steel for that because you got the salt and the water and everything on there. And I haven't had any problems even with the steel that they use on the 450 CF, the S35 VN. But ZDP 189 is supposed to be even better for that. Still fantastic action. You still got the KVT ball bearing system that Zero Tolerance uses on pretty much all their knives now. Um, I think all their new ones have been flippers all using that KVT system. And it works really, really well. It's super, super smooth. You can see it's almost impossible not to get this thing to deploy de deploy correctly. It's got that nice detent on there. You've got a strong enough detent where when it breaks loose from that, even if you put a little bit of pressure on it, it still flies out and goes out really, really well. 
So you can see the action on it is really nice. One of the things that really drew me to the 450 CF, the original, was how light and small and minimal it was. I was carrying larger folders, like the 562, the 560 for a while, and uh, I kind of went in the opposite direction. I was like, I want to go for small and light and minimal. And I know there are smaller, there are lighter, there are more minimal ones than these. But if you want something that can handle a decent amount of abuse, I definitely don't baby my knives. I don't maintain them very well. And Zero Tolerance is renowned for being able to handle abuse and being able to handle the hard use. So a minimal, light, a minimal knife from them that could handle all that stuff was super, super appealing to me. And of course, the ZDP version does all of that as well with the better materials, with that ZDP 189. And uh, you got the cool touches on it. Actually, a couple guys in the shop have already gotten these. And, you know, there are other ones in the shop that have these. There are other guys that have the 450s, and they've been trading out the backspacers. So they have like a mix of the backspacers just to give it a cool, unique, kind of personalized look. Great action on this. Really nice jimping there on the back. You've got jimping there on the flipper as well, so you can get good purchase on there. You can see your your finger doesn't really slip off even when you try to slide it up. Like I'm trying to slide my finger off, and it's just not something that's going to happen unless you just really want it to. So you've got the good grip on there, and it just flies out. Fantastic, fantastic knife. I'm really excited about it. I'm really glad they decided to put some more premium materials into this knife because it is my current favorite of the Zero Tolerance lineup. So kudos to them for that. But anyway, I know this is kind of a gushing review. Uh, I tend not to review knives that I don't like because we sell so many knives that I can just spend the time, spend my time reviewing the ones that I really like. And this is definitely up there at the top. So there you go. That is the Zero Tolerance 0450 CF ZDP while we have it in stock, you can get it from us at goinggear.com. If we are sold out, I apologize. But uh, this one will be in production for a while, and it's still a fantastic knife. And I still very highly recommend the 450 CF as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or let any of my guys know at goinggear.com or give us a call, shoot us an email, however you want to get in touch. Thanks, guys.